It is not the fear of the state that suppresses the criminal within, but the consciousness of the heart that is afraid to sin. Why, what makes man incapable of governing himself? Why do we need systems and structures and symbols and civic intervention? We spend so much time and money and blood and tears and bullets and bombs in governance, but why can't man just govern himself? What if every man was his own land, his own flag, his own constitution? Would there still be war and confusion and more and more revolutions? I'm afraid, I'm afraid that the answer is yes, there would still be war. If there was only one man in this world and nobody else, he would probably end up waging war with himself. See, the problem isn't government. Because if you strip away the structures, there would still be destruction. If you build another system, there would still be corruption. And we don't need any more laws. We need to identify the cause because legislation does not save laws, save lives. It only shows us our flaws. And no one ever blames the gun for the crimes that people commit. So if you are looking for the problem, I think the people are it. Because the same gun that one might use to take lives is the same gun by which others used to survive. So don't blame the system, the structure, the pistol that punctures without taking aim at the people it suffers. We are the people it suffers because we as a people are ruptured inside trying to bring peace to other people's lives when we don't have peace inside. But how long are we going to let chaos reside in our chest before we let go of our burden and decide to be blessed? See, we need legislation that purifies the heart. We need legislation that pulls us from the dark. We need legislation that puts together parts because we've been shattered into pieces and those pieces are sharp. And if we look into this shattered glass mirror of self, we see that there's something bigger to fix. But first, the world it needs to acknowledge that its people are sick. And when we begin to invest our time and our money and our blood and our tears and our sweat and our love and our faith and our fears and our hearts and our hopes and our minds and our souls and all of the beauty that we own in teaching and helping people learn to govern themselves, then we can talk about convergence. Thank you.